All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. It should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single-leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's Coast. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Bone Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Ready. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. And going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Straight right hand now just misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. 
Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Nice punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Let's go. Hurt his body. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Single collar tie now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Big kick land. Well, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Lee. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Attempt there is blocked. High cross, High cross. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, big head kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Oh, nice job trying to get the lead at the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Big kick land. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nice jab by Lee. Nice hit. at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice straight punch. First round winding down here. Liver kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. Second round here. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch.
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the opponent's side, beating his leg up. All right, single collar tie now. Nice punch, Lynn. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet. And there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, right, then a left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a good right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Double leg, stuffed. And they separate. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Straight right, he misses. Blocks the shot. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. this space so that he doesn't get finished. Ooh, big shot lands. Still nice body kick lands. Lands the inside leg kick there. It's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, tagging with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he heard a bat with the jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that big seat. knee there. That knee hurt him. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Leg kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Final seconds here. Big body kick. Two rounds in the books. All right. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over.
Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. There, nice connection. Oh, nice land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful body kick. What a beautiful body kick. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. this length as effectively as he is here tonight. We might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Take him down. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Visibly limping here. Plus right hand is true. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. What a punch. As he gets close, he's out of the... Oh, big knee! Here's Hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Yeah, he's doing really bad. See an efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Big punch lands through the middle. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Now a knee. 
Campbell. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done it. He's done it. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? And they both stand up. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big punch land. Oh, man, head to land. Kick there by Lee. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Knee strike there, interrupted by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful, straight counter. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, he's got him here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Get him with his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Good fight here, under two to go.
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big kick land. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Leg kick for Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Straight punch land. Liver kick. Twenty seconds left. Looking to land the right just out of range. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready to fight. Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Loaded up in that right hand, too. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big punch land. Ooh. Just out of range with that right hook. Circling to his right. And that left hook landed on the button. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Over three minutes now to go in the fight. Go for the takedown. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block. All right, so then potentially a critical takedown here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. These are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching for the up kick, making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. I mean, how many can he take? Under two minutes now to decide this one. Good, solid strike on the ground. 
He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, so it's over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent. Oh! He's out! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.